Rise, Israel. Repent. Come up out of this music. Stop listening to this abominable, unholy music of gangster rap, wicked rap. Look what it says right here. My religion is rap. You have a lot of people that feel like that. And Biggie and all of these other rappers are prophets of Lucifer, the spiritual demon Lucifer. You got Biggie right here with the 10 crack commandments that he made. This is blasphemy to God. And you really got people out here that actually believe that this guy Biggie is in some type of heaven or paradise. No, Biggie is suffering right now in the afterlife. Yeah, Biggie is kicked down in captivity, right? Completely destroyed, miserable, and suffering. Yeah, Biggie's life after death is hell. Repent. And so is Tupac's. Tupac is in hell right now. Beat down in captivity for promoting wickedness. Easy E also for promoting ungodliness and wickedness. Shalom. This is High Priest Call Halal Love the Law, also known as Calvin Israel, back with another video lesson, giving all praises, honor, power, glory, dominion, majesty, reverence, blessings, worship, love, and admiration to the Most High, Yahweh, and Yahweh only. Double honors, triple honors to Yahweh and Yahweh only. No Baha Shim. Understand that. All right. Now, the title of today's video lesson is The Curse and Judgment of the Wicked Rapper. Now, the prophets of old, the prophets and the psalmists, they didn't know about any gangster rappers, trap rappers. They didn't know about hip hop back in these biblical times. But the Most High, Yahweh, knows all things. So, Yahweh, he knew in the future there will come a generation of wicked rappers and hip hop. So, these prophets and psalmists had the spirit of Yahweh on them when they were prophesying and writing this down. So, hip hop was created by our people, right? Now, it didn't start off wicked. Now, it didn't start off wicked. It started off 
with us making a lot out of a little in poverty, you know, making the best of our situation in poverty, you know, and then they came rap, a hip hip hop, hip hip hop, hip hop and you don't stop to rock, right? So, yeah, that's what Jake do. Jake make the best of a bad situation, right? Yeah, we can do that. Um, but gangsta rap came once the fear of the white man came by killing all of our revolutionaries. All of our revolutionary speakers were being killed, were being murdered by the white man, Esau, Edom. So that brings a shock and fear wave through our community. And then the gangs form because of the drugs that the Edomites bring into our community and their guns that they bring into our communities. Hey, look, man. Black people don't own no ports or boats. So tell me, how the hell we get in all of this coke, all of these drugs, all of this heroin? Black people are not gunsmiths, right? We don't manufacture or distribute guns. So how the hell we're getting all of these guns in our community? All right? So we understand that that the American system, these Edomites, they created the black gangster in the black community. But gangster rap, we created because we already had rap. So now we're rapping about our lives and our communities now as gangsters and what's going on and the things that we see. Right? So the white man, he gets ear of it, of gangster rap, and he see dollar signs. He see dollar signs, and he also sees the destruction of our people. Right? So the Jewish man, he sees a great opportunity to get rich, you know, he's going to rob all of the rappers. But he also sees a great opportunity to destroy our community. Right? So, it's a win-win for him, the Jewish man, the Edomite. Right? So, with his music industry and his mainstream platform... Right? He owns the music industry. So nationwide, internationally, worldwide, this devil is promoting, pushing, and spreading this message of gangster rap. So, gangster rap probably wouldn't even been a known thing. It could have just stayed underground and barely nobody hear it. But the white man, he profited off of it. And the white man used it as a weapon to destroy our people. Right? He's an evil genius. Right? So... Jake is not an evil genius. Jake is just ignorant in captivity, right? Jake is just destroyed mentally and spiritually. But this damn white man is an evil genius. So he pushed this gangster rap in the early 90s when I was growing up as a kid. It was all over the radio. And it was all over the TV 24-7. All you seen was gangster rap videos on MTV, especially on BET, 24-7. Yo, MTV Raps, Rap City The Basement on BET, 
this stuff right here, man, is completely detrimental and diabolical to our people, man. And this gangster rap, listen up, this gangster rap stuff, man, it will steal your heart, man. It will steal your heart, man. And that's why it comes with a disclaimer with the parental advisory sticker. Yeah, it comes with a disclaimer. And I believe the parents had to fight. The people had to fight to get that sticker put on the albums because <laughs> it's well known that music controls the emotions. Music, right? Music on the impressionable minds. This stuff on the youth, gangster rap, man, it will steal your heart. And this gangster rap stuff on the impressionable minds, it shapes them to be exactly what the music is talking about. And even some adults that are not fully mature yet, they have impressionable minds. And they are heavily influenced by this music and so they tried to brush it off but you got this thing called gangster rap made me do it a lot of people in prison because gangster rap made them do it a lot of people are in prison because they were influenced at a young age by gangster rap gangster rap shaped them to be Gangsters, because if you're growing up without no father in the home and all you're seeing on television is gangster rappers, right? Because that's what it was in the 90s. That's all we were seeing on television. Snoop Dogg, NWA, Easy e you know, Ice Cube, Tupac, Biggie. E-40. Like, if all you're seeing is gangster rap, Scarface, the Ghetto Boys, if all you're seeing is gangster rap and you ain't got no father in the home, you're like, as a kid, you're looking up to this stuff. This stuff is making you a gangster. This stuff is making you a badass. This stuff is making you hard. So, in a way, you know, it's good because, you know, without this, a lot of men probably being raised with just a mother in the home would have been effeminate. And they know that. That's why it's a lot of effeminate rappers in these days. Like Young Thug wearing a dress and Drake and everybody, even NBA young boy painting their fingernails and wearing makeup. All right, so they know that. So this music is very powerful. But even though it made us hard, it made us too hard, way too hard. Right? And that's not a man. You need a father. You know, a righteous man to show you how to be a man. A gangster rapper, a gangster is not a man. Just a badass. Right? Just a Billy badass. Right? And you need knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and respect. As a man out here, you got to move with respect. A little respect will take you a long way. And these rappers, how they are putting out their music, they're not respecting nothing, man. Right? So that will get you into a wreck being way too hard trying to be way too hard and that's what the music will make you right so this stuff will steal your heart man you have to be careful 
Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So this is not saying that you can speak things into existence. But what this is saying is, whichever you love speaking, you know, rather it's life or death, if you love speaking death and you're a gangster rapper, you're just bringing negative things to you. If you're speaking death, all of this evil wickedness and negativity is going to gravitate to you and come into your life, right? So you're speaking to the wicked when you're a gangster rapper. So wicked people, killers and real gangsters and mobsters, thieves, adulterers, all of these low lives are going to come into your life and do you harm because the wicked, they honor wickedness and disloyalty is wickedness. They are right with that because they are being loyal to wickedness when they are disloyal. They're actually being loyal to wickedness because disloyalty is wickedness. So these are the people that listen to gangster rap. Proverbs 17 verse 4, a wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. All right? So if you're listening to gangster rap, it's because you delight in lies, false lips. Because you're a liar yourself, giving your ear to wicked words, a naughty tongue, gangster rap, right? So if you're in the truth, you got to cut this stuff out because this stuff will steal your heart, man. It will drain the love out of your spirit, man. All right, now I witnessed it myself, like three years in the truth, no gangster rap, right? I come across Saul, Saul the Sodomite, and he's listening to gangster rap like it ain't no thing, listening to gangster rap, smoking weed, and he also got it on his story, right? He eventually started putting it on his story, and I asked him, I'm like, bro, why are you listening to gangster rap, man? I'm like, you're supposed to be the saint of the most high. Why are you listening to this stuff? And he's like, you know, I'm so down for you. How would that I can't be moved to the left or to the right? You know? And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I dig that. And, um, as time went on, you know, I, I really got tired of just listening to R&B. I got tired of that spirit, you know, because, you know, you listen to R&B enough, it just make you just this big woman lover, you know. And not all the time you want to be in that spirit, right? And then there is no good music, very little good music that is about serving Yahweh only. I say, if there is like a thousand songs about serving Yahweh only, only about like 10 songs are good. If there's a million songs about serving JC, the idol of the New Testament, it's like 10,000 songs that's good, right? So, our people is making some real beautiful music about an idol. I know the Most High is furious about that, right? Exactly. But eventually, you know, when you're working out, you want some of that energy, some of that aggression music, right? So, yeah, like, so I thought about what Saul said when I was 
did want to work out and, you know, have some energetic music to get me pumped up, some uh, some aggressive music. So I started listening to it, man. Then I just started to listen to it in my pastime. And, you know, looking back now, I see that it, it drained my love, man. It drained my love. No, it did not make me sin, you know, like literally, actually, factually go out and sin. It didn't make me desire to sin. But what I did notice that it did drain my love, man. You know, like my love, my mercy, patience that I got from my brothers and sisters inside and outside the truth, even being less playful with my children, being uh, less patient and loving with my women, the women in my life. Yeah, yeah, that stuff will drain you, man. It's still your heart, man. You got to leave that stuff alone. That stuff is really powerful, man. That stuff is the work of Lucifer. Look, check this out right here, man. The spiritual demon Lucifer is behind the music industry. The spiritual demon Lucifer is behind gangster rap, the wicked rap. Let's go to Ezekiel 28, verse 13. It says, thou has been in Eden, the garden of God. So you know that this is talking about the serpent, right? The devil, Lucifer. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, topaz, and the diamond. The beryl, the onyx, and the jasper. The sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle. And gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. So the most high created Lucifer, right? So tabrets is a musical instrument and pipes, a musical instrument. So Lucifer is made with the knowledge to make music. But what did Lucifer do in his free will? He corrupted everything. So Lucifer corrupted music. And he knows how to tweak it and make it to where it's really wicked and that it's really draining to you, right? He can make it to where it hypnotizes you. It controls you and move you to do wicked, you know? So Lucifer is giving this knowledge to the Edomites, the white people, and now in their music industry, they're taking full advantage of manipulating the music. And now these prophets of Lucifer willing, like these signed up participants, right? Because when you're looking off into this music industry, they're not being deceived. They know that they're doing wickedly and they enjoy it. Right? And they know that they're selling their people out to get money and selfish gains. But they don't care. They are wicked. You got all of this goat talk around, man. Well, the Baphomet is a goat. Right? Even though they say that it means greatest of all time but the Baphomet is a goat and all of this goat talk right it's symbolic it's spiritual 
once you're speaking wicked, you're representing Lucifer. Once you're promoting this stuff. See, now I never took it as far as Saul took it to go and try to promote this really graphic, you know, music, this graphic and violent music on my story or on my social media. Now, if it's somebody that's struggling with uh, manhood or someone that is being manipulated by women, you know, I would say, and you know, maybe you need to go and listen to some some pimp rap or something. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like it's like I'm not trying to make you a pimp, but sometimes pimps have some good information just for the man in general on how to deal with the woman and how to control the woman. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. Pimps are manipulators, but you cannot deny that they have complete control over their women. Now, how they're using that control is wicked, especially if it's an Israelite woman. But pimping is legal if it's a heathen woman. Deuteronomy 21 Start at verse 10, read on down. We can sell the heathen woman for merchandise. But you know what I'm saying? It's not good to promote or anything like that, man. You know, this stuff is wicked. This stuff is wicked, man. You have to be careful, man. You have to be careful. Like I said, you know, if I tell you, hey, yo, man, go and listen to some Too Short. You know what I'm saying? So you can get to knowing how to not really stunt these women so much, man. Not to really, you know, care or give heart to these women so much because it's okay to give your heart to a righteous woman, but it's a lot more wicked women and it's a lot of wicked women pretending to be righteous. So... You want to be able to distinguish between that too, and you want to be becoming a little harder on a woman getting your heart. You know, you want to make that hard. You don't want to make that easy of just any woman getting your heart. So, you know, protect your heart. You know. So let's go to Psalms. 52. All right. Psalms 52, verse 2. Thy tongue devises mischief like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Yeah, man. This is about the wicked rapper, man. Look. The book of prophecy speaks of y'all. Thou loveth evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Now, who is that? The gangster rapper, the wicked rapper. Thou loveth all devouring words. O thou deceitful tongue. There you go. It speaks of y'all. It speaks of them. It speaks about the wicked rapper. Thou loveth all devouring words. O thou deceitful tongue. You know, made a culture out of it. You got battle rap. What's battle rapping all about? Just saying just how much you can disrespect a person. Just saying who can come up with the most wicked things to say and then sometimes it goes left because you dis you disrespect a person to the core you disrespect a person too much they're going to want to fight that's right power of the tongue negativity coming to your life when you start speaking it 
God shall likewise destroy you forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. And we see that's what's happening to these gangster rappers. They're dying. They're dying fast all the time. Psalms 52 verse 6 it's like an it's like an academic at this time man eh? the righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him right there you go we're laughing at the wicked rightfully so you got to think about the wicked man when you're thinking about these wicked rappers, these worldly people are crying, but the righteous, man, they're laughing. When these gangster rappers die, the wicked cry, but the righteous laugh. It's just like, you were so bad. You was doing all the killing, all the robbing in your music, right? You was this big serial killer. In your music, you was untouchable. Nobody was snatching your chain. Nobody was coming near to you. No one was keeping you away from the hood and all of this stuff. No one was having sex with your woman. And, and it's just like, dang, when the Billy Badass dies, it's embarrassing. But you were so hard, though. Hey, but you were so gangster. And you got murdered? Oh, come on, man. Now, a lot of these gangster rappers, man, they ain't killed nobody rapping about being some ghetto superhero. That's what they created with their pen. They're not really like that. A lot of them, most of them, they're not really gangsters. But with their pen and their mouth, they create this ghetto superhero that is not them. That's why they have a stage name. They have a rap name. This character that they created is not them. And then they say in interviews that it's entertainment. They admit to being fake. And the scriptures tells you that they're fake. That they're liars. False lips. Right? And they're just wicked. Still given into wickedness. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. And that's what rappers do. They trust in the abundance of riches. And they, they do it for riches. They don't care who they're destroying, man, woman, or child. Rather, it's their own people or not. As long as they're getting paid, these are sellouts, man. These are sellouts and these are cowards that are scared to stand up and speak against the devil, the white man, because they don't want to be done like these revolutionaries. You know what I mean? They don't want to be assassinated, right? You get to speaking on some revolutionary stuff, right? Benefiting your people, uplifting your people, loving your people, then they're coming after you. They're coming after this truth. Especially this full truth. They don't even want Kelvin Israel videos to be an option. They don't even want this full truth to even be an option for someone to have. They keep it so far underground. And that's exactly the ability that they have. That's exactly what they could have done with gangster rap. They could completely shut it out like they're shutting out the truth. They could they could have completely suppressed it and pushed it underground. And it would have very little to any effect on anyone. Right? But no, they promote it. They take it from being underground and put it on the surface. 
but I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. Understand that. So don't worry about no riches and fame and all of this vain glory. Yahweh will give us glory. Understand that. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus and get something about this wicked music industry. All right, because it's in the scriptures, man. Right? The Most High put it on his prophets to speak, to speak futuristically and to prophesy about this wicked generation, this wicked generation of wicked speakers, gangster rappers. All right? There is a sinner that has good success in evil things. The gangster rapper. There is a sinner that has good success in evil things. And there is a gain that turneth to loss. Right? So you gain the world, but you lose your soul. There is a gift that shall not profit thee. And there is a gift whose recompense is double. So when you sign a record deal, you get gifts. But these gifts, they're not going to profit you. What's the profit of someone like Pop Smoke? Who only had about a year of fame, a year or two of success, you know, you get these deals, you got a year, two years of rocking diamonds, lab made diamonds, you know, you rocking some gold, 14 karat gold. You know, you got a few little women, you know, some ratchet, wicked women that enjoy wicked gangster rap, some sluts, some hoes, right? And you get some kids that's looking up to you, trying to buy your music and get your autograph and, you know, boosting your head up and, you know, this stuff is vanity, man. It's not profiting you, man. But you just died. You died within two years of your vain glory and fame. It's not worth it. There is an abasement because of glory. And there is that lifteth up his head from a low estate. You know, you're getting these rappers that's signing and siding with the white man coming up from out the hood, from a low estate, from having nothing. And so they'll take anything that they can get, you know, and they'll sell out and sacrifice anyone that they have to to save themselves. There is that buyeth much for a little and repay it sevenfold. There is that buyeth much for a little and repay it sevenfold. So the rapper, man, he's getting very much for a little because, you know, it's really all profit when you're coming with your writing skills, your talents, your speaking skills, you know, your rapping skills, you know, you're getting a lot for a little, but you're going to pay it back sevenfold, right? It's, it's coming back on you sevenfold. A wise man by his words maketh him beloved, but the graces of fools shall be poured out. The gift 
of a fool shall do thee no good when thou has it, neither yet of the envious for his necessity, for he looketh to receive many things for one. Right? So when they give you this record deal, like they give you what's a little to them, but it's a lot to you. But they are looking to get that back. Right? For he looketh to receive many things for one 360 deals. They want all of your publishing. They want everything from you. The gift of a fool shall do thee no good when thou has it. And then you get to complaining about that you're in a bad deal. The gift of a fool shall do thee no good when thou has it. Neither yet of the envious for this for his necessity, for he looketh to receive many things. For one, he giveth little and upbraideth much. You know, that's the record label. He openeth his mouth like a crier. Today he leadeth, and tomorrow will he ask it again. Such an one is to be hated of God and man. A lot of people are hating these record labels, man. They're just ripping the artists off. So, you know, you're getting ripped off and you're ripping your people off. You want loyalty from the wicked. You're not even giving loyalty to your people, to your own people. This gangster rap stuff, this wicked rap stuff, man, is really bad. It's terrible. It's also making women whores. They can manipulate the music like that, man. When you got a wicked rapper over these catchy instrumentals, you know, on these catchy beats, and you say some ratchet things on these catchy beats, you know, hey. All you're doing is prolonging the mental and spiritual captivity of the wicked and preventing them from repenting and returning to the most high God, Yahweh. Psalm 64, verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Yo, cut that gangster rap stuff out, man. Stop it. Look, I'm going to tell you, I used to want to be a gangster rapper. You know, rap, hip hop, gangster rap is like it. It was really deeply embedded into me. Right. It was a passion. And it was a talent and skill that I was really good at. But the Most High wasn't having it in my life. Speaking for myself, right? And uh, also speaking for our nation. Yeah, the Most High is not having it. So very few people make it to live to an old age being a gangster rapper but they still got their judgment coming in the next life but for me as for me you know judgment came quick I used to promote and glorify all the street stuff especially drug dealing and then the same thing that I glorified. The same thing came around and broke my heart. Came into my life and I felt the other side of it. I felt the other side of drugs. You got one side that I was glorifying and that's the money and power. But the other side, families are being destroyed being destroyed by heroin and crack cocaine so you know when that stuff hit home in my home yeah I felt it and I felt it 
you know. And a lot of people probably went through the same thing, but they didn't feel nothing because they are heartless, too far gone. The Most High knows you're not going to repent. And so, just let the streets kill you. So I promoted a lot of death, violence, and murder on my second album that I put out. And I erased it off the internet. I erased all that stuff off the internet once I repented and started seeking the truth. But when I really started promoting all of that stuff, murder and stuff, and glorifying it, justifying it, it hit home once again. And my little brother, the life of the party was murder. And I saw him laying lifeless in his casket. And that did something to me, man. You see the life of the party, man. Someone that was always just full of life. You know, a person that was just always the life of the party, man. He just always had a lively spirit. And that was gone. It was no soul in that body, in that shell, man. That was, you know, that was a wake-up call, man. And it's, it really hit home, man. It really hit my heart. I mean, maybe it wouldn't have hit the heartless. It don't. Because there was a lot of people at the funeral. They're still in wickedness and celebrating wickedness, parlaying, turning up the gangster rap to this day, man. You know, but the most high want the ones that have a heart, man. All right, now you have to protect your heart from this gangster rap, man. Right? Verse 3 Who whip their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. This is about gangster rap, this is about the wicked rapper. That they may shoot and seek at the perfect suddenly. Do they shoot at him and fear not? Yeah. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? So they know what they're doing. These gangster rappers, when they get into this industry nowadays, they know what they're signing up for. Right? But they encourage themselves in an evil matter. You know, they 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 say, well, um, I yeah, uh, I get paid more. This is what Meek Mill said. Yeah, man, we get paid more to speak this real grimy and and and, and the more craziest things that we say. We get paid more to speak more ratchet and more negative and just just. Just more perverse things. They pay us more. But he said, the way I even it out in my mind is I try to come with a positive song or try to do some community service. So, you know, um, they are in this mindset, like this yin-yang mindset, you know, same as above, as below. You know, uh, your good deeds and your bad deeds are like weighed together and your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds and you're okay. Or if they match up, you're okay. Hey, look, the most high end with playing both sides, you got to be all the way righteous to expect to receive anything from the Most High God, Yahweh. Alright? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thoughts of every one of them and the heart is deep. It's a lot 
that goes into making these songs. They do a lot of researching. Researching on evil things. On evil things to speak and to rap about, man. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. All of these rappers is dying, man. The most highest putting spirits on these people to go and kill these people. Right? So, you got to be careful. The most high got evil spirits out here. And if that's what you delight in, that's going to come into your life and cause a lot of problems in your life. You got to repent and come up out of that. The most high got some evil for you if that's what you delight in. I suggest, like the most high suggests, that look, you stay over here on this righteous side where he wants you at and praise him in all righteousness. Because if you want this evil over here, man, the most high got some evil he will put on your ass. For sure, for sure. So, they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. That's right. So you speak murder. Huh. Murder fell upon you. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. A lot of people are repenting when they see their favorite rappers getting murdered or they see their role model being murdered or if they just see just a lot of these rappers being incarcerated for murder like Young Thug he's in jail for murder G. Depp the guy that was with Puff Daddy Bad Boy he's in jail for murder see murder Master P's brother, he's in jail for murder. He's been down for a long time for murder. Y.N.W. Melly, he's currently locked up for a double murder. Max B, he's in jail for murder. Tay K, a juvenile, he's in jail for murder. Flo, that just was signed to Lil Wayne's label, Young Money. He's in jail for murder. Like, they speak murder, and this is what they are about. Right? This is what's cool to them. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. So when they see that, they like, oh, no, nah, that's not worth it. Maybe this is something that I should reconsider. You know, I don't want to get involved into this. You know, let me just live a regular life, serve the most high and, you know, get with my woman, raise a family or whatever. You know, when they seeing these rappers die and go to jail for murder and stuff like that, you know, the righteous shall be glad in Yahweh and shall trust in him and all the upright in heart shall glory. All right, let's go and grab a few more scriptures and we're going to close it out and come with a part two. Let's go to Proverbs 10, verse 11. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life. A violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Choose righteousness. Choose righteousness. Let's go to Psalms. Because this is all over the scriptures. Yeah. Our people got to beware of this gangster rap stuff. All right? The scriptures is our real culture. You know, this is our real heritage. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And our righteousness. All right? Psalms 10 verse 4 The wicked through the pride of his continence will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. 
This is a very godless industry, this music industry, man. His ways are always grievous. Your judgments are far above out of his sight. God's judgments, they're not worrying about it. <laughs> they're not worrying about it. They're embracing hell. Damn, if you're embracing Christianity's hell, whoa. You are extremely wicked. If that does not like kind of scare you to kind of like, you know, go right. Because Christianity's hell is fire everlasting. Right? They know like this is what they're in. Like all of this idolatry is in hip hop. You know, you got Christians and Muslims, you know, all of this lawlessness. You got lawless religions in hip hop, man. And they think that they're doing God a service and they think that God is not angry with them. You will see them at award shows receiving an award for a wicked song and they get on stage and say, first and foremost, I want to thank God. Like what God? Yahweh is not the God of wickedness. Yahweh does not delight in your wicked music, promoting lewdness and violence, killing, adultery, and theft, and blasphemy. All right? His ways are always grievous. Your judgments are not far above out of his sight as for all his enemies he puffs at them the big badass against the rap he has said in his heart I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity yeah his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity that's the gangster rapper for you right there. There you go. Yeah, the scripture speaks of these wicked rappers, man. We do not want to be a wicked rapper. Now, if you do, you know, want to have some aggressive, energetic music, I've made some, some righteous, aggressive music. I made some. Check it out. Got a playlist up. Go and check it out. Because I needed some high, energetic, aggressive music for when I'm working out. You know, listening to Keith Sweat ain't going to cut it. You know, it ain't going to cut it too much, man. I'm really trying to work out and push it. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh, yeah, we're not trying to get off into that. Uh, the woman is God worship the woman type of spirit, that simp spirit either, man. So we want to stay away from that R&B. We're not going to dwell too much in that R&B, even though it's a lot better. It's a lot better than rap. It's a lot better than gangster rap, wicked rap. And I listen to it sometimes, but too much of it, man. Come on now, man. You know, look, we're here to serve you. How and to glorify him? Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's the gangster rapper in a nutshell. That's the gangster rapper. He calls evil good and good evil. I right, mean, you ain't never killed nobody, man. You lame. Oh, keeping the commandments is lame. You a sucker. You a coward. Oh, keeping the commandments is cowardly. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll have sex with your wife. I had sex with his wife. You can't have sex with mine. Are right, you a lame. You know what I mean? 
calling evil good and good evil. You ain't never robbed nobody. You constantly getting robbed. You are lame. I'm robbing everybody. I'm the man. You ain't selling no dope. You scared. I'm selling all this dope to my people. I'm getting all of this money. You broke. Right? That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. This is about the gangster rapper, man. This is exactly what they do. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, impudent in their own sight. That's the gangster rapper. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. That's, that's what it is in the industry. You always see them in the music videos with the bottles of alcohol. You know, when they get some real money, they want to invest into their own alcohol and sell their own alcohol. Like, you know, Jay-Z, Cameron, E-40, you know, they, they selling alcohol, Ludacris. Everybody really got their hand in it. Rick Ross, 50 Cent, you know. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Getting drunk, being a drunkard, not taking heed to your steps that you're taking on the path that you're on. Unable to see clearly, unable to repent. Which justify the wicked for reward. Exactly. They all stick together in their wickedness. When, uh, what was that, Bobby Smurda? When he get out of jail, he ain't got nothing. But all of the other rappers, they give him rewards, jewelry, money, right? For being a gangster. And take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Right. So all of the women want bad boys. Right? All of the gangster rappers is making the righteous look lame for not being gangsters. And take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Understand that. Therefore, as the fire devour the stubble, the stubble. So y'all going to be burnt up and destroyed right along with the white man. The white man is going to be made stubble. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble and the flame consume the shaft, so their root shall be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust because... They have cast away the law of Yahweh of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. This is about the gangster rapper. This is exactly what they do. Trap rapper, wicked rapper. Therefore, is the anger of Yahweh kindled against his people. This is about the gangster rapper, right? So-called black man, right? Yeah, his people. Therefore, is the anger of Yahweh kindled against his people. And he has stretched forth his hand against them. That's why they're all dying. And has smitten them. And the hills did tremble. And their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Who want to die next? Step up. Who want to die next? Who want to be a gangster rapper and die next? Go ahead. Step up. His hand is stretched out still. Repent. Come up out of that, man. That's... That's really heavy, man. You got to repent and come up out of that, man. And just uh, take counsel with your brothers, man. Take heed to your brothers, man. Your brothers in righteousness. That's trying to get you from out of worshiping the woman. That's trying to get you from out of the streets and worshiping. 
the projects, worshiping the ghetto, worshiping your block, worshiping your hood. You know, come up out of that, man. Come up out of that. Stop worshiping turf tops and worship the most high Yahweh. Yahweh only. All right? Come up out of that. Repent. We all need to take counsel together and help each other. And uh, being <laughs> righteous, right? Proclaiming to be righteous. Proclaiming to be the saint of Yahweh. Proclaiming to be a messenger of Yahweh. But then again, you're looking foolish online. Smoking weed in your car, listening to gangster rap like Saul. That's what Saul does, man. You know, he's sending a mixed message. Being a hypocrite. You got to come up out of that, man. You got to come up out of that. Repent. Cut that gangster rap out. Stop listening to it. Stop listening to it. Okay, you stop making it. Stop listening to it. Just stop, man. I got some aggressive, righteous music for our people. Check out my music, how rap's supposed to be. Exactly, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got some more information coming on part two. Shit. Yeah. I got a lot of information coming on part two, man, and how this system works, man, and what's going on. Yeah. The white man knows. All right. Part two coming. Shalom.